This is heating and air conditioning technician Jody Avila. That's well, here we go, bounding through Ooh. the floating steps. Okay, I see you, big fella. He gets to the warp wall. I got a nickname for him. Well, there we go, the big guy on the TikTok. We're wasting no time on the TikTok there. Tony Avila's really? trying to show he's different. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. 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 Is, well, the height doesn't hurt him, it's the weight. Well, actually, he's so tall, his biggest challenge may be keeping his feet out of the water. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Come on, keep it going. And look at this, he has excellent body control. We cannot state enough what excellent body control this big man has. Ooh. No one's made it past this obstacle tonight. Oh, a little stumble. With his weight, this could be a real challenge. He's got long Again. arms, and it's gonna be important for him to wrap his arms around here on the pipe fitter. And I like that he's using his legs as long as he could there. Uh, he's going back, back at it, long arms. Oh, look that at that. Reach is Hooking helping. his elbows around here. Oh, it looks open. like the grip might be given out. Powering through. Look at that. Oh, my 78 inch line facing the wall. And it's going to be his first shot hitting the buzzer. Jody Avila. This is, of course, Brent Stephenson. Very few have done more in the sport or gone farther than he has. Well, Stephenson was the king of Ninja Warrior back in season four, went farther than anyone. Well, obstacles are his life. He and Casey run the Alpha Warrior Gym based here in San Antonio. But we still know he is an explosive athlete. Yeah, we just got to turn it on. That's all we need to see out of Prince oh, Stephenson. guy, high-level trampoline athlete. Oh, good balance. That thing almost spun back. It's taking with it. The first time he's seen the sky hooks a new obstacle. Stephenson, excellent body control and awareness. That's a big jump right there. Went down to one hand, but quickly recovers. He's got it. And that was smooth out of Stephenson. And that... But I like it. A good aggressive pace at the start here on the pipe fitter. Yeah. Good transition. You can see he's having trouble figuring it out. You see him locking, using the locking technique to make sure he doesn't slip off. There's crisscross applesauce in that sucker. Oh, oh my! Lock, lock it, homie! Yes! Stepping in the half foot wall. Big time prime time. Big time prime time! Showtime all time! That's it! 26 year old Josh Salinas who works at Iron Sports Gym in Houston. We can see the sea of red. That's his students and their parents who made the drive down from Houston. Wow. All right, look how high he gets on that swing. Ooh, nice. A perfect landing. Wow. Whoa, nice. Yeah, this guy looks like a star in the middle. So even though Salinas is a rookie on the course, he has had a lot of experience on obstacles. He knows exactly what he wants to do. This rookie is decimating this course. 26 years old, a high-level gymnast, but he's also got excellent body control. Absolutely, man. And he also has the combination of also doing cheerleading as well. Using that lower body as long as he could. This is probably one of the smartest runs I've ever seen. And he's a rookie. Tremendous control, very calm, saving those forearms here. Nothing about this run says rookie except for oh. Salinas will be well ahead of that mark if he gets up the wall here. And he is going to destroy this course. It's our next athlete. This is Daniel Gill, one of the fastest ninjas alive. Matt Siddles was flat out flying and finished in a minute 45 and change. Daniel Gilson says his wife got him eating right and training right. And taking care of their hair right. Yeah. Doesn't he look fast? Doesn't he look like he has a lot of energy? Amazing, just 23 years old, an American Ninja Warrior. Woo! Wow! Look at that. About a minute left to get through these final three obstacles. Good transition. Oh, and the transition here. Look at that. Boom! Oh. Well, this was the guy who had to wait for his turn. Turn 21 exploded oh, right you the scene. Look at that beautiful bounce. And, beautiful. and the crowd is chanting Daniel. Got to be careful, though. Easy to fall here on the pipe fitter if you rush it. One in second. He's on that Daniel plan. Look at that. The Kingdom Ninja. But as fast as he's going, he's still going to have to hurry. This is going to be close. Got to get it on the first try. Yeah! 
Olympic silver medalist, Jonathan Horton. Well, there's only 5-1, but Jonathan Horton has tremendous upper body strength. He hit the buzzer two years ago in Houston, and he wants to hit it again. He needs it after the year he's had. Oh, this guy won silver and bronze medals at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, and look at him. Does that not look like a gymnast? Oh! Oh, and he just flies to the landing. Ooh, ooh. No problem for Horton. Excellent. Back. Women should feel comfortable on the rings. Horton was an NCAA champion at the University of Oklahoma. I think we're going to see, well, no one who's taking the course has been as comfortable controlling their body as this man. Nice landing. Look at the pipes on this guy. I think even the Russian judge is giving him tens here. Ooh. And look at the dismount. Nice. 5-1, 134. The transition zone could be a bit of a challenge for Horton. I can tell you one thing here on this transition. Doesn't have a lot of real estate when it comes to wingspan. So and this is going to be the challenge. Yeah, that gap is pretty big for a guy with a small nice wingspan. Nice reach, though. Look at this. He came here and means business. He has five rings tattooed on his back for a reason. This dude's a Olympian. 